In travel news, for February 27th, 2023, we talk about the European Travel Information and Authorization System, the canals in Venice drying up, and air travel between the US and Canada. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel. To stay updated on travel news, tips, tricks, and other insights, which will help you to travel like an adept traveler, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We frequently release new content to keep you up to date on all things travel. United Airlines and Air Canada have announced new routes and increased capacity between the United States and Canada for the upcoming summer offering more flight and connectivity options to customers. The carriers have optimized their schedules to add over 80 trans-border code share routes and more than 260 daily flights. The more than 260 combined daily trans-border departures during the summer will represent a 20% increase in schedule capacity compared to the summer of 2022. The airlines will code share on these flights, allowing members to accumulate and redeem miles, and eligible customers can enjoy benefits like priority check-in, lounge access, and priority boarding. Venice's iconic canals have dried up severely after abnormal winter weather conditions causing critically low water levels and making it impossible for the city's boats to navigate. The canals are a symbol of the city's history and culture, and they support one of the main transportation systems regularly transversed by gondolas and other waterborne conveyances. The prolonged low tides are due to a combination of factors, including a lack of rain, abnormal sea currents, and a high-pressure anticyclone weather system that's been sitting over Western Europe for the past 15 days. The situation raises concerns that Italy may face another drought on the scale of last summer's water shortage. It's worst in 70 years. The shortage prompted the government to declare a state of emergency for areas surrounding the River Po, Italy's longest river and a major water source for roughly one-third of the nation's agricultural production. The European Travel Information and Authorization System introduction has been delayed yet again, with a further postponement from November 2023 to sometime in 2024. Travelers will be required to apply online for a European Travel Information and Authorization System at a cost of €7, Euro, and it will be valid for three years. The scheme, similar to the electronic system for travel authorization visa waiver for entry into the United States, was originally scheduled to start in 2021, but was delayed due to the pandemic. The entry exit system, upon which the European Travel Information and Authorization System relies on, has also been postponed until the end of 2023. European governments have expressed concerns about the entry-exit system causing delays at borders, leading to concerns that the system may not be ready for the new 2024 start date. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends. Due to a combination, com <laughs> it's worst in se it's worst in seventy years, worst, worst, and making it impossible for the city's boat to navigate. Boat. The scheme, it with a further postponement from postpone post, the European Travel Information and Authorization System relies under the uh, and it will be good for. Uh, uh, uh,